Trinoff. The company behind the endgame processors of any home theater enthusiast has developed a high-tech solution to the age-old problem of home theater installations, uneven bass response. And they call it waveforming. But what is it exactly? Let's get into it. I'm Elon Osborne, and this is Acoustically Speaking. One of the biggest challenges in deploying a multi-channel surround sound system like a home theater or even a high-end two-channel stereo system is getting the bass response right. While mid-range and treble frequencies are directional and relatively easy to control, low frequencies are omnidirectional. As these frequencies bounce around a room, they can wreak havoc on the overall bass reproduction. Room modes or standing waves happen when bass frequencies bounce off a wall, floor, or ceiling and interfere with each other. This interference can occur in different ways in different parts of the room. In one part of the room, a bass peak of a reflective wave may hit another peak, causing excessive bass boom in a particular frequency, while in another part of the room, a trough or low point in the bass wave may cancel out a peak, causing a particular frequency to be lower than it should or even be entirely silent. While you may achieve an even and accurate bass response in the sweet spot just by experimenting with subwoofer placement, you may find moving your listening position just slightly to the left or right can cause the bass response to sound uneven. As a real world example, if I have a movie going on in the living room while I'm cooking, whenever there's a bass heavy moment, the bass is way more boomy in that part of the kitchen compared to sitting on the couch. Reason being is that the low frequency energy produced builds and builds by hitting the wall near the stove, bouncing out the many corners in the kitchen, which always creates a pretty intense listening experience. Make sense? So custom installers and DIY audio hobbyists deal with this anomaly in different ways. Using multiple subwoofers can lead to a more even bass response in different parts of the room if you're very careful with placement. Room treatments or bass traps can help absorb some of these bass reflections before they cause problems. Room correction and calibration software can compensate for standing waves electronically by adjusting time delay, phase, and level of audio signal. Each of these methods can help tame standing waves and all three approaches can be combined, but none offers a magical solution that can be applied to all home theaters of all sizes. Trinoff, on the other hand, developed a solution to this problem, which they call waveforming. In a waveforming system, the multiple subwoofer and room correction software approach to bass optimization are combined. With waveforming, an array of subwoofers is placed along the front wall and a complementary array of subwoofers is placed along the rear wall. The front woofers are used to transmit the bass, while the rear woofers are used to cancel out or absorb the bass. The concept isn't entirely new, as double bass arrays, or DBAs, have been deployed for years in an attempt to tame those errant low frequencies. But Trinoff's waveforming takes this concept to the next level via precise measurements and design in advanced proprietary software that drives the system. With a proper waveforming deployment, listeners get to hear the original bass signal without interference from standing waves. According to Trinoff, the other major and perhaps most important benefit of waveforming is the drastic reduction in low frequency decay time. Since the bass is not allowed to bounce around the room for more than 500 milliseconds or more, a great deal of bass detail and dynamic contrast is revealed that would otherwise be lost in the mud in the room. Trinoff's waveforming software shapes the signal sent to each woofer in the system in order to create a uniform and accurate bass response throughout the room. It effectively turns every seat into the best seat in the house. I experienced this firsthand in 2024 when I went to the Cedia Expo in Denver. Trinoff went full Hammond from Jurassic Park and spared no expense to bring an unrivaled experience to those wandering the convention center's main floor. With the help of speaker designer Per Listen, they created a monster system in a custom-built room that was incredibly impressive, to say the least. And not just any Per Listen speakers, but their very own THX Dominus class speakers, the big boys. But beyond that, you had partnerships with Barco projectors, Mad VR video processors, and Kaleidoscape offering the source material. They played some of their own Trinoff made trailers that showcased the fidelity of the room and overall immersiveness, and of course, the bass response. And then they moved on to some killer movie scene demos. Without getting too graphic, let's just say I've never felt bass frequencies go straight up my butthole through my spine like that before. <laughs> Call it what you want, but that's honestly the best I can describe it. The pressurization of that room was next level. But I expected nothing less because the big caveat to that room was, you guessed it, the cost. 
The demo room featured 33 speakers, including 14 separate per listen D215 subwoofers, six in the front, eight in the rear, as well as the processor and amplifiers to power the speakers. Total cost of this 13.14.6 channel system was rumored to be around $1.2 million, not including installation. Even the room itself was custom built, painstakingly engineered, calibrated, and optimized in Italy before being transported and reassembled in Denver. But do you want to know the most impressive part? It wasn't while I was inside the room getting a taste of what $1.2 million could do. It was while I waited outside to get into the room because you know what I heard? Nothing, not a peep. One would think standing next to a room with 14 subwoofers that I would feel the bass from the demo clips being played. No, my friends, it took me a while to let it sink in, let me tell you. But as I'm standing in line, it just dawned on me and I was blown away. Waveforming not only gives you the most precise space experience within the room, it also contains it, so you can say goodbye to disturbing your neighbors. Now granted, that could also have been due to the custom-made room fabricated in Italy, but overall it was largely due to waveforming's ability to negate those standing waves. Now, Trinoff says that the price of admission will come down over time as the system is refined and more installers have come up to speed on how to deploy it. Because since waveforming was introduced at CDN 2023, a new version of waveforming has already been created called cylindrical waveforming, which simplifies waveforming installations as well as lowers the cost in specific rooms. With the original planner waveforming, subwoofers need to be mounted above the floor in order to work on both vertical and horizontal wave reflections. This can make installation more complex as it requires that custom walls or shelves be built around the optimized subwoofer locations. With cylindrical waveforming, fewer subwoofers are needed, and subwoofers can be placed on the floor in the front and rear of the room. The ideal room for cylindrical waveforming either features a highly absorbent low frequency ceiling or an open ceiling, so reflective base waves from above will not interfere with the main base signals. Trinoff says that planner waveforming is best in most rooms, but cylindrical waveforming maintains the same benefits for less overall expense and effort as long as the ceiling recommendations are met. You didn't think ceilings were all that important in room treatments, did you? Also, cylindrical waveforming offers a better solution for home theaters that use a large OLED or micro LED screen instead of a projector. Projection screens can be designed to be acoustically transparent, allowing sound from the subwoofers and in-wall speakers to pass through to the listener. Flat panel and OLED micro LED screens obviously cannot. Waveforming technology is proprietary to Trinoff and is currently only available in Trinoff's high-end preamp processors, including the Altitude 16, Altitude 32, and Altitude 48 EXT. Waveforming technology can be used with many different speakers and subwoofer brands, as determined by certified Trinoff dealers and custom installers. Extended, even bass response virtually anywhere in the room. Bass extension and precision are preserved. The bass is both deeper and more detailed. Without boom and excessive bass, details in mid-range and treble frequencies are more articulate and easier to hear. Waveforming processors aren't cheap, nor are their setup and installation. It requires multiple subwoofers and very specific placement for best effect. In some room layouts, subwoofers must be mounted high on the front and rear walls in order to compensate for both horizontal and vertical waves. Although Trinoff did release a web-based waveforming design tool for DIY audio files and custom installers to explore various room and speaker layouts, building a waveforming system currently requires hiring a custom installer certified for Trinoff waveforming systems. If I had that kind of money, that would be the gift that keeps on giving for sure. And there you have it, folks. That is waveforming in a nutshell. Are you on board with having the ultimate base experience without disturbing your neighbors? I personally have four subwoofers in my current system, which is technically the minimum amount required to pull off waveforming. So it really would be fun to get a Trinoff processor to see if I could do it with just four subwoofers. We'll let you know if that eventually happens or if waveforming makes its way to Marantz processors like I have, fingers crossed. As always, to keep up on all things hi-fi, home audio, home theater, gadgets, wearables, and tech, be sure to bookmark eacoustics.com to stay up on all the latest news. Until next time. Thank you.